Hey guys, so this is Sarah and welcome back to my channel. I got a bit of feedback from you guys yesterday and you said that you wouldn't mind a more casual style video until I get my editing software to work. So that's what this is. Um, today when I was reading in this um, area which I like to call the sleeping hall because it's an area in the university where I work where people tend to sleep <laughs> a lot. That's definitely not the real name of the place, it's just what I like to call it because I'm silly like that. Um, super cozy place. It's my favorite new place to read when it's like snowing because it's still snowing. <laughs> Alright, so on to the graphic novel. The graphic novel I read is The Best We Could Do by Tai Bui and I'm not sure that this is the correct pronunciation. Um, it's just a pronunciation, yes my cat's getting onto my lap, <laughs> um, that I heard on this other booktuber slash graphic novel reviewers channel who I will link below. Um, so that you can check them out and see what they thought of it as well. Anyway, so what does the best we could do um, in, in, entail? <laughs> it's a graphic novel that is a memoir. It's the author's actual memoir. And it follows uh, her family as they immigrate as they immigrate to the US and also just the history of Vietnam and why that caused them to um, immigrate. And it's really well done, um, just because it does trace the entirety of the history that led to that immigration moment. It doesn't follow them as much in America after the whole immigration process, but mostly the history. Um, and as somebody who's only been exposed to um, a very American uh, history of Vietnam and just of yeah of Vietnam I don't know very much about the country to start off with and then what I really enjoyed about this novel is that when it comes to the point of the Vietnam War it painted it in less of a black and white lens and gave more it just made one realize how it's it wasn't that Americans came and helped the Vietnamese out of a terrible situation um, and it helped explain why because I don't know apparently and I didn't know this but the novel like hinted at there was a dialogue of how the um, southern Vietnamese weren't very uh, grateful for the Americans coming into their country and rescuing them quote unquote um, and it gave, because the novel went through the entire history of how they had been occupied multiple times by the French, um, who left and then came back, and the whole, um, I think there was like a whole aspect too about how like a lot of the history of Cambodia like was linked, um, and how French also colonized Cambodia, um, I don't know, it added like a certain context to the fact that they weren't as welcoming and perhaps even fled when the Americans came because, you know, they weren't viewing this as a potentially like bloodless like um, occupation because that's what I envisioned they would have viewed it like. Um, again, I don't know this because I'm like talking from the white lens, you know, um, as a white person. That's what I mean by that. Um, so yeah, I really appreciated this, you know, it follows, um, Ty had four older sisters and it follows the four older sisters and herself, um, and obviously it follows, like, her parents' narratives and who they were and who their parents were and how that influenced, um, their perspectives of the world and then the way that they reacted to their children, um, growing up, so... Yeah, this was definitely a four out of five stars. I really like gra a historical graphic novels. They serve as a really good segue into like historical moments. Um, I feel like for me, because I am such a like, I don't know, I feel like I'm a newbie like to history, like true history, not like whitewash history. And so like it takes me a while to understand things. So I'm not saying that I'll remember everything that I learned in this novel um, because I'm, 
I simply am flawed and I, I won't but it serves as like a good entry point to me wanting to learn more about Vietnamese history and just like contextualizing um, the Vietnam War and just like more than just that you know obviously because it's like a country is so much more rich than just like one simple event um, not that I was simple um, yeah that's actually blurred by um, that Thai Nguyen Jin I'm pretty sure I mispronounced that. Um, the author of The Sympathizer, and he stated, a book to break your heart and heal it. Um, so that's a good raving review, if I say so myself. Um, yeah, let me show you a little bit the art because the illustrations are glorious. And yes, my background area is not very clean. It's Friday, I need to clean. But look at those illustrations. Let's get rid of my face. I'm really bad at doing this, but look. There's, the color red is very important in this novel, um, and it's pre present throughout, um, but I really like, I really like the art, the like sketching to it, um, it's like very dynamic feeling, and the colors do change slightly as it goes on, so like it, the colors are quite emotional, um, yeah. There's this one image. There, I found it. <laughs> I got really excited. <laughs> Look at that. I'm excited about this art as much as I was excited about the art in um, this summer by um, the T T Tanaki sisters. I'm blinking on their first name, which I don't know. Come on, Sarah. But yeah, so one last bit from the opening. Okay, Sarah, there you go. Um, it's really beautiful. I wish this graphic novel was more talked about. I really think that it should be. So I'm hoping that my tiny channel <laughs> somehow can motivate some of you to like take a look at this because, I mean, it came out fairly recently. I think it came out last month perhaps or maybe even in april i'm not really sure i know you guys are like there this is supposed to be a short review and you're making it long but i want to know okay it just says 2017 does it not have a date i'm afraid it doesn't have a date guys <sighs> but please check out <clears throat> the best we could do by tai bui and um yeah let me know what you think if you do read it in the comments below if you guys have read a graphic novel that you've really loved please let me know down below as well i'd love to have more recommendations my library is really good about stocking really cool graphic novels and comics i love comics too so <laughs> send them my way um and yeah so i hope you guys have a good weekend be well and take care of yourselves